Hi, this is Group 7. I'm Marissa Johnson. And I'm Hannah Albers. And I'm Logan Selvig. And we're going to talk about group wear today. So, group wear in general is a centralized place for saving and accessing documents or files, shared calendars and task management, and communication tools, from instant messaging and video conferencing to whiteboards and message boards. Besides connecting team members no matter when or where they're working, Groupware apps serve as a virtual office hub. Everything is stored, shared, and documented in one place, which makes finding information and sharing data so much easier than merely emailing everything or using traditional office tools like memos or faxes. So some benefits of Google Suites um, are as followed. Uh, Google Suites allows you to brand your business email. So you get to use your business's brand with your email, with your very own domain added, and with also a company logo. Uh, G Suites lets you collaborate and share with others in your business using other Google products such as Google Drive and Google Docs. G Suites also lets you keep your devices in sync, whether you are working from your computer, mobile devices, tablets, or on the web. G Suites also creates a more reliable setup for your business, um, so the storage and server demands of having your email hosted and managed with your web host are removed. Uh, in other words, if your web host goes offline or you decide to change web hosts, it is possible to have your email continue to work with no downtime. G Suites also can grow as your business grows. Um, you can flexibly add or remove users as your business changes. Uh, G Suite is a cost-effective alternative to a managed Microsoft Exchange setup. So I'm Marissa and I'm going to start talking about the cost structures now. Um, and there's kind of two different billing plans. There's flexible and annual. Flexible is going to be more of a no commitment so you're not stuck in it long term whereas annual is you're stuck for a year you just have to pay for that um, 12 months and they're both monthly so you are going to get billed monthly but the annual one you get a discount on it um, but for the size of each business plan and which plan would work well for your business um, is going to depend on the size of your business the flexible is more for small organizations with a variable size workforce whereas the annual plan is going to be more for organizations with a constant or growing workforce. Um, and that's just kind of how they are structured. And then on to the next slide here. There are three different types of subscriptions within those plans. Um, so for your G Suite Basic, which on that picture here is what my group currently has. Um, it's going to be a $5 monthly um, payment per user. So as you can see, we have um, six users, so it's going to cost us around $30 a month. Um, but with this subscription, it's going to be just a basic subscription. So it's going to have um, only 30 gigs available for your company to kind of use. Um, whereas if you go into the G Suite business, that one's going to have more of an unlimited option for you, but that one's going to cost you $10 more a month. Um, but with the business one, you're going to get enhanced office suite with unlimited storage. Um, it's going to have retention policies, e-discovery, and audit reporting, so you kind of get more of a larger aspect for your company. Um, in G Suite Enterprise, that one is going to um, offer premium off office suite data with loss prevention, um, and your Gmail and your G Drive, it's going to help um, encrypt with some messages and kind of give you those more advanced options. Um, and so then for the pricings for these here, I know annually for the G Suite Basic, it's 5 for the Flex. Whereas if you do the annual one, it's going to be 417 per per user. So then that way you kind of get that, that discount that they were talking about. Um, and then again, it's 10 minutes for the um, 10 minutes, oops, $10 a month for that G Suite business one. 
And then for the enterprise, it's going to be $25 a user. Um, if you were to do it yearly instead of like kind of the yearly total, if you were to have one user per person, it's going to be around $60. The G Suite business is $120. Um, and then that uh, enterprise is going to be around $300. Ugh. You didn't stab it. All right, I'm Hannah Albers, and I'm going to be talking about the ease of adoption for Google Suite and how anyone can figure it out. If you are the creator of the Google account, you will be known as the Google Admin. When you are logged in under the Admin console, your home screen will look as follows. Since you're an admin, you have the power to change the settings of all the available categories. Once you click on a category, it will have easy directions to follow and walk you through your transaction. If you forget where something is, you can use the convenient search engine at the top to Google what you want. It will then get you where you need to go and show you how to get there for next time. There is also a virtual tour you can take at the beginning of setting up your Google, Google Suite account. You can access it by clicking the three dots in the top right corner. It will then give you step-by-step -step directions. If you need extra help, you can also go to lynda.com and set up an account where you can watch detailed videos on how to operate your Google Suite. Overall, G Suite is an easy way to get your company rolling and successful. So, sure. How